what is really popular but shouldn't be, in your opinion. Miracle beauty slash health stuff. The vast majority of them doesn't work and some are downright dangerous. Cough cough goop cough cough. Who are the people who support that besides the hardcore followers lol? Celebrity eye worshipping. Romanticizing lack of sleep and overworking yourself. Japan has entered the chat. China has entered the chat. Now, nah. He's got it right. China's got some absurd hang-ups, but when it comes to a societal culture of working yourself to death, Japan epitomizes it outright. Reminds me of the sarin gas attacks on the trains in the 90s. A whole bunch of Japanese people were poisoned and still went to work BC they didn't want to be late. Proposal pranks. That's like the biggest day of someone's life and a prank like that is just mean and hurtful, especially if the person thinks you're serious. Imo, doing this to your significant other is a potential game ender. At least, it would be for me, if I actually had a lover. How could you forgive them for betraying you like that, especially if they went all out and put on this huge act, then told you it's just a prank. Haha, ha. I'd probably never want to be with them again. Same here. That you should identify with one of the two political parties. I hate that you're expected to identify with any political party at all. All it does is divide people. People are tribal. If it wasn't political parties it would be something else. Totally correct. You see it with race, religion, education, and even which sports you like. I hate how tribal we all are by nature. It sucks. Adding in phone brands, generations, types of gaming devices. The list is endless and completely ridiculous. Be excellent to each other, Bill and Ted. All the Got talent shows and singing slash dancing competition shows. These reality shows came around in the year 2000. This is something that should have died 10 years ago. Instead we have had 20 years of singing competitions on TV. 20 years. And they're all rigged anyways. Someone with actual talent. A. You're alright. You might get into the second stage if you're lucky. Someone with a sob story and a mediocre act. OMG you win all the prizes and moan and get me wrong. I have nothing but praise for people who have conquered the odds to hone their craft. But it seems like everyone has had anything mildly sad happen. Gets a free pass to the finals. While others who live normal or happy lives get overlooked. Even if their act is superior. It doesn't help. That Simon makes a ridiculous amount of money based off of who does and doesn't do well. They all signed contracts saying that AGT or Simon Cowell have the rights to collect royalties off of any individual that was on the show and has financial gain because of it. They then cherry pick the winners and make it as long and as drawn out as possible to sell more ad space. The winner is chosen based off of who has a good talent, who is the most dramatic to have one, and who will generate the most revenue. Instagram influencers. Did you hear about the girl that had over a million followers and couldn't sell more than 15 shirts? Wonder how many of those followers are real. Like half of Twitter is bots. Lip fillers. I swear men say this, but worship women who have them because they just can't tell. You definitely mean bad lip fillers. Yes. Sample bias. You only notice it when it's done badly. Accepting people's shitty behavior, because that's just how they are. Facebook. I finally got Facebook back, because a lot of people see it as normal. But now I just look more crazy, because I only have two friends. Haha. <laughs> Me too. I had to rejoin, because of groups etc. I look a weirdo as I have I think three, lol. But I never go on it either. You two should be Facebook friends someday, unless you are one of his two friends. Edgy out of prank videos. How many times can you say bro? It's a prank. It's a prank bro. And get away with it. Surprised some little wanker hasn't met his end pulling that crap. That's because they don't pull it. These videos are almost always scripted. Who would actually watch someone get their head cut off? Then smile and look away. Almost everyone would call the police. I think you are grossly underestimating the herd effect. Someone else will call the police. That's the bystander effect. Dying. I know. Right. Why is everyone doing it? Hell. 
Even my grandparents are hopping on this trend. I'm ashamed. Movie reboots. Why do the majority just accept the same movie storylines over and over again? Even if they are slightly tweaked, it's just lazy and unoriginal. At least in the way I think of it. Reboots work as a way to modernize movies that are good in concept, but didn't age very well. If that makes any sense, for example, the Halloween or Friday the 13th series are known as ubiquitous staples in the horror genre, but the original movies do seem very cheesy when put in a modern lens. So cheesy, the kills would make your average 12 year old giggle. The reboots of both of these series are panned pretty heavily for the exact reason you gave. They seem unoriginal and bring nothing new to the table. People who saw the movies when they first came out probably would be pretty bored watching them. But what they did do is bring that same story and give it a new Machiavel and make it prettier and much more palatable for a modern viewer to watch. It's hard for a newer viewer to appreciate something that, while it was revolutionary for the time it came out, Nowadays it looks like something that could be put together by a group of high school theater students. Modernizing these movies makes it easier for a fresh mind to appreciate the story of the movie itself, without being distracted by the cheesiness of the visuals. All the next plans from phone companies. People are being sold on only $30 more a month on your bill, and you get the new phone as it comes out. You're forever paying and never owning anything. That's why car companies are considering the same payment model. Car companies have always had that model that's where the phone companies got the idea from. Leasing a car is the same as the next plans for a phone. You're right. I was thinking about the subscription model that I read about not too long ago. Not a fan of either model for selling phones. Link. House Darn Chronicle com slash business slash article slash nissan takes new automobile subscription service 15 million and 72,683 php i haven't checked out nissan's but volvo's subscription didn't seem too bad given that maintenance and insurance are included if you want a new car every year it's not a bad deal the only part that seems like a bullshit catch to me is that while you can upgrade every year you're actually resigning a two-year lease each time. So when you want to be done with the subscription you're actually stuck not getting a new car the last year you're involved. Incest porn. I just don't understand the appeal. I mean. Just the idea of calling someone daddy in bed makes me want to throw up. I caught my room at watching some. And he explained he found the incest or stepdaddy crap disgusting. He only watched it since the girls were usually younger and didn't usually look like typical porn stars with overdone makeup, boob jobs, and fake eyelashes. He showed me a few examples and I saw what he was talking about. The girls looked more natural. That makes sense. Seeing plastic bimbo after plastic bimbo must get old. Coachella. It's a hot dry desert filled with vapid broke wannabe hipsters from southern ca suburbs in forever 21 hats. I just don't see the appeal at all. It has sex, drugs, and rock and roll. People tend to overlook the smells and venereal disease when they are high as a kite. Woodstock and Lollapalooza had the same logistical issues. I work Lollapalooza every year and wow. They are truly a corporation squeezing every dollar out of its attenders. I would never go unless I was making money. They are so far from their original roots. It's the worst. What's up with it seeming like all male attendants are required to wear basketball jerseys? Smoking. It's probably the most dangerous thing you can do to your body. At least in Australia it's taxed quite heavily. And the packets have pretty graphic images of conditions related to it. On the last ship I served on, we would keep our cigarette packs and trade the pictures with each other like trading cards. My favorite was the crying wife cradling her dead husband. In Canada girls would specifically buy the one with the limp dick to make fun of their male friends. The so called reality TV. Kardashians and so on. Who watches this shit? My girlfriend loves that shit. But that's who it's aimed toward. Girls that love talking about celebrities with their friends. Not just that, a ton of people watch reality TV because seeing other people's mess of a life makes them feel better about their own. Gender reveal parties thrown by expectant parents. 
My parents didn't do a baby shower, but if they did it would have had a hilarious outcome. The doctor made a mistake. He thought I was a girl. That happens all the time. In Canada. They don't tell parents who look like Thea from an eastern country if their baby is a girl. So they pretended not to know. Oof. The Flat Earth So See Turned Scientology. If you ask me to explain Scientology I'd say a sci-fi writer who flopped. So he turned his fiction into a religion for the weak-minded for revenge. Apostrophe. Or as Mr. Hubbard himself said, writing for a penny a word is ridiculous. If a man really wants to make a million dollars, the best way would be to start his own religion. You don't get rich writing science fiction. If you want to get rich, you start a religion. Chris Brown. That man literally beat a woman. Oh. Dude. He did so much more than that. I hate it when people try to argue that Chris Brown is okay. And I hate it even more when you realize how famous and popular he still is even though it's literally confirmed that he did tons of horrible stuff. Cancel culture. Yes, it is good in some cases for people whose reputation should actually be soiled because they did something terrible. However, it hasn't always been used that way and now people are quick to attack someone and shut down their entire career all because of one accusation that has no truth or weight to it. You should cancel people if they're guilty and there's evidence to prove it. But, not just if someone is accused of something. People's lives are being ruined. You can't take that shit lightly. Chris Brown physically beats a woman Rihanna. It's okay. We'll always love you Chris. Paula Dean says the n-word. Let's kill this bitch's career. Apostrophe. Jeeps. Nothing against them. I just don't get the culture surrounding them. I feel like, if you've seen one, you've seen them all. This thread is funny, because everyone is hating on something that other people obsess over. But if you look at their post history they obsess over something that other people would think is strange. At the end of the day just let people enjoy what they enjoy. And don't be a hypocrite. Edit, there seems to be some confusion. There are plenty of popular things that deserve hate. What I'm talking about is the people saying TikTok. Fortnite. The Kardashians. ECT. Just petty shit. I will hate what I want to hate god damn it. Nothing brings people together more than hate. I don't have any idea what you are talking about Germany. Probably. Texting and driving. Your text saying what's up to one of your friends isn't worth killing a pedestrian or another driver over. Yet it happens every day. My ex-friend was horrible for this. She would be glued to her phone while she drove. So many times I'd yell at her to put her phone down or have me answer the text if it's that urgent. She eventually got caught and slapped with a $700 ticket. After we stopped being friends I found out she lost her license temporarily and I'm 90% sure it was due to texting and driving. Teen parents. Flat out. I'm one myself but all these other teen parents basically trying to get famous off of it is honestly dehumanizing and dangerous. It's basically showing other teens that it's perfectly fine and not a big deal. I can't stand it. On top of that it's giving unrealistic views that it's anywhere near easy. Personally me and my fiance slash baby's dad worked hard to get where we are. But we also had to have a lot of help in doing so. And I just personally think that these videos and stuff could either really put down other parents or give unrealistic expectations to non-teen parents that then might become one themselves thinking it'll be cute and fun all the time. The shows actually make it look like a bad idea. Yeah but those shows seem to be targeted at the older moms in like their 30s so they can ridicule the promiscuous crap teens get into. I'm talking the TikTok girls that are like 16 and showing off their amazing life and cute kids and stuff. Buying clothes, only because if the brand, Supreme Sweater, dollar sign 2000 the sweater without the logo, $15. Coronavirus, I'll never understand how that went viral. Budumtis. The r slash unpopular opinion subreddit is too popular and shouldn't be. 1000% agree. I posted an actual unpopular opinion and these morons downvoted. 
The rules explicitly state that, if an opinion is unpopular you up to damn it. The post got so much hate, that it was for fuck sure unpopular. Goddam retards. Duck. Anything involving the Kardashians. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.